We're following breaking news. The Biden administration has finalized a rule turning the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals immigration policy into a federal regulation. The measure codifying the Obama-era program is set to take effect October 31st. The DACA policy has allowed unauthorized immigrants who arrived in the U.S. as children to live and work in the country legally without fear of deportation since 2012. As of March 31st, more than 600,000 immigrants were enrolled in the program. Joining us now is CBS News immigration reporter Camila Montoya Galvez. Camila, welcome. Yeah, it's good so, to see you. Um, so, why the, is the Biden administration taking steps to codify DACA now? And how does this change the policy currently in place? Hi, Elaine and Lana. As I'm sure you can recall, back in the Trump administration, federal courts stopped officials from terminating this Obama era policy, which the Trump administration and Republican lawmakers have called unconstitutional and illegal. But those court rulings back then did not focus on DACA's legality. They focus on the Trump administration's efforts to end the policy and whether they followed proper procedures to do so. That question of DACA's legality is still being litigated hmm. in federal court. Last year, a group of Republican left states convinced a federal judge in Texas to declare DACA unlawful and to close the program to new first-time applicants. This regulation that the Biden administration is publishing today is designed to address some of the concerns that this judge in Texas cited, mainly that the Obama administration should have undertaken the rulemaking process and allowed the public to comment on the merits of DACA before implementing it. So this regulation has received thousands of comments, but it's important to underscore that even with this regulation in place, DACA could still very well be struck down in court. Oh, it's really interesting because uh, there's still, even with this regulation and as an attempt to try and mm -hmm. codify DACA, that there is still this, this legal jeopardy that it's in. Where does the program currently stand in court, Camillo? No, that's an excellent question. That judge in Texas, in addition to saying that the Obama administration should have used the public comment process to create DACA, also ruled that the program itself violates federal immigration law. So this regulation does not address this legal question. That second part of it. So Correct. it means that there's no new DACA recipients. Correct. New applicants cannot be approved for this protection from deportation or the accompanying work permit. But we also expect a ruling from the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals later this year, and that court is widely expected to side with this judge in Texas and with re Republican officials, and that ruling could very well shut down the program or at least keep it close to new applicants. And such a scenario would block current recipients from being able to work and live here in the U.S. without fear of deportation. That was going to be my question. In what ways, I think you just answered it, but mm -hmm. in what ways might this ongoing litigation actually impact the more than 600,000 unauthorized migrants that it covers? Sure. So those 600,000 immigrants who are currently enrolled in DACA would no longer be allowed to renew their protections. They would no longer be able to if work. The, if this judge if this, rules in this yeah, way. Yeah, if this court strikes down the program and agrees with this judge in Texas, the program would be close to current recipients as well, and they would not be allowed to work in the U.S. as well. And it's important to just underscore that only Congress can place these undocumented immigrants on a permanent pass right. to U.S. citizenship. Is there citizenship. any progress? There was will at one point, bipartisan will at mm -hmm. one point. Has that completely gone no, away? No, that, that's an excellent point. This population, unlike other immigrant populations, has rare bipartisan support, robust bipartisan support, not just in Congress, but among the American public. Mm -hmm. Despite that, for over 20 years, Lana, Congress has failed to pass a so-called DREAM Act to place this population on a pathway to U.S. citizenship, mainly because of disagreements over other immigration issues, such as U.S. border policy. And as you know, because of the record arrivals of migrants that we're seeing along the U.S.-Mexico border, I think it is still an uphill battle for Democrats to be able to gain some Republican votes to support any of these bills. For more than 600,000 DACA recipients, this is big news, but also the uncertainty is far from over. That's Camilo, right. thank you.